everybody. Um, I have a quick tip for you, but before I get started on that, just so there's no misunderstanding, my channel is a food channel, and it's real recipes that I make for my family. So some of them are going to be pretty healthy, and some of them won't be. Um, and I'm not trying to have like a specific channel geared towards, you know, 100% health food or 100% whatever type of food. This is just real meals that I make for my family that they enjoy on a regular basis. So yes, some things will be heart healthy and some things just will not. Um, as they say, variety is the spice of life. Now today, for a quick tip, I have Isabella and Bailey helping me out. Today we went shopping at Sam's Club and when we do that, we, like everybody else, buys in bulk. So what we have over here is I got a package of peppers. It was a six pack. And nine times out of ten, peppers this season have been going bad really quick on people. So what I do to kind of stretch out my money and to stretch out the product is I here I have some sliced peppers. They've been washed, they've been seeded and cored. And I just have them drying on paper towels to get the water off them. And Isabella is going to help me put them in baggies, and we're going to put them in the freezer. So, Isabella, why don't you start with the yellow peppers? Okay. And this is a good way, like I said, to stretch them out. If you have a real quick recipe, what I like to do sometimes, if I'm making something that's not so heart healthy, I at least try to add more vegetables or as many as vegetables as I can and these would be quick and like you know you could just grab them from the freezer and throw them into a sauce or throw them with you know some uh, ground beef, ground chicken, ground turkey um, you know peppers are universal you can put them in just about anything and it would be wonderful sometimes I uh, even throw them into some couscous um, if I want to bump up the nutrition value. So we have a baggie full of yellow peppers right here. Isabella, you can get going on the other ones, honey. Okay. <clears throat> and so what we, what we have been finding is these peppers have been going so fast and it's kind of, it's kind of a waste of money sometimes. Bailey, you don't need any more peppers. As you can see, Bailey's taste testing them. My kids are not afraid of vegetables. They love them. There are times, though, that um, they just, <laughs> there are times that they just don't want them. I guess like everybody else, though. I mean, if you ate the same thing day in and day out over and over again, I don't care what kind of diet you're on. I don't care what that diet promises. You will fail <laughs> because people just get tired of eating the same thing over and over and over. Even if it's your favorite meal, I guarantee you, you probably won't like it if you eat it every day. So, it's okay. It's okay. We just won't use that one that fell, will we? Nope. Okay. <laughs> and she just wants to help. Yep. See? Good job, girls. Mm -hmm. Next is the orange. Hold on, Bailey. Can we don't need she, Bailey, stop smelling them, please. I know you like the smell of them, but we're going to put them in the bag in the freezer, okay? Okay. Now, I just hope we have room in our freezer for it, because like I said, we just came back from grocery shopping, and our refrigerator isn't so big. Of course, we buy like it is. Okay. Okay. Bailey, can you put those ones in the trash? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. So now, oh, we missed a couple. So now we're just going to put these in the freezer. And they're, they're ready and they're good for whenever you need them. I hope you try this tip and I hope it works for you like it does for my family. So until next time, live, laugh, and love.